So this is the first Cape Town recovery walk uh, and again celebrating recovery um, from addictions of all types of addictions. We're going to have a few words in the church and then we're going to walk up to the Labia Cinema Theatre and there's going to be a free screening of anonymous people. I'm here to support recovery. I've been in recovery for 25 years so I'm here to support everyone else who is doing the good work. Well, I've been in active addiction for quite a couple of years, 24 years actually. I'm 30 now. Yeah, and uh, it's just great being sober. It's just good being recovered. It's the first time I've been in this program and it's nice to see that there's hope out there. And it's other people, people that care, people just like me, you know. Um, I'm part of the committee. Um, and yeah, just passionate about recovery. It's been a privilege to be um, exposed to recovery through my work. I'm not in recovery myself, but I work in the field of addiction treatment. And yeah, I love people in recovery. I really do. They're some of my favorite people, really. I've been in recovery for a little while. Um, yeah, I was lucky to kind of get introduced by a friend. Yeah. Yeah, when I was 17, it kind of just stayed. Yeah. Um, good friends with the guy who organized it, so he said, come and help out. A hundred and uh, maybe 200 people. We were kind of hoping for 50 when we started organizing it, so it's, yeah. it's gone a lot better than we'd hoped, which is great. Yeah, yeah. We with a support group coming clean okay. in Claremont with Jim Devlin. And um, I'm here because I'm, uh, I'm in recovery and my uh, son is also in recovery now for almost three years. Three years and um, alcoholic in recovery and so yeah we come to support coming clean recovery allies actually started in canada and um, i got in touch with them through cape town recovery which is a facebook page and um, decided to bring recovery allies to south africa to cape town because it includes everybody it's not just for people in recovery from drugs and addictions it's for everyone so here we are we've reached our destination the labia theater we are continuing the hopeful theme from the walk we're celebrating recovery we've got movies that will educate inform and entertain movies around addiction and mental health issues we actually kick off with an awesome film from my home country, from the UK. It's called A Royal Hangover, made by a young British director called Arthur Corti. The billing of this film is interesting. I'm going to read it to you. Think bowling for Columbine with alcohol instead of guns. In the UK, we don't shoot each other. We prefer to kill ourselves with drink. It's far more dignified. We started the festival three years ago. The first year we had four films um, over four nights. It was really well supported. Um, it gave a space for people in recovery to meet that wasn't the spaces they're used to meeting in, where they're used to maybe going and leaving and not really starting to build up. I think what, uh, what William White calls recovery tissue. You know, you're going to build up this, this, this tissue, you know. Um, so we wanted to keep it going. Um, and this year we had the South African College of Applied Psychology came in and helped us and we broadened the focus a little bit to include some of the things that often accompany addiction. So you know, bipolar, we've got a film about bipolar disorder, we've got a film about borderline personality disorder, we've got a film about technology addiction. You know, so it broadens it right out. You know? It's a recovery day and I just really enjoy being with the fellowship, catching up with old friends and it's a chance where I actually get to get out of my head because I mean Every day, being in the real world, it's challenging, but being here, people actually get me, they understand me, and I don't feel like I'm alone anymore. I mean, my entire life feeling like I'm alone, and then coming here even last year and realizing people actually have the same problems as me, and they get it. And it's something that worked for me. I'm here today because I, uh, I love this fellowship, I love the people in it, um, and it saved my life. I came into recovery for the first time just about 14 months ago. Um, thought I was working things pretty hard, then fell on my face. Um, I've only just been out of rehab for a second time for a few months now. Everybody's journey seems to be quite different. Um, for me, it seems that that whole process, including falling on my face, was was really necessary. I've, I feel like I've 
I've come a lot further in a few months than what I did through all the clean time I had before. Um, it was an experience that taught me the lessons I needed to learn, you know. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to take that and build a long-term recovery successfully, and th that's the plan. Oh, well, I'm from Gordon's Bay to start with, currently in treatment, approximately for six, six months. And uh, I'm here today to celebrate recovery. I've been battling for addiction for as long as I can remember. And uh, I've come to a point in my life where, you know, enough is enough. I need to take back my life and uh, lead a, a healthy life in a good orderly direction. Oh, recovery is great. Um, there's ups, there's downs. And, um, but I'm taking it a step at a time, minute by minute, and doing it just for today really, and not to think way ahead into the future. Um, but uh, the 12 Steps program is changing my life on a daily basis, and uh, just applying the principles that I've never had in my life in active addiction. It's just uh, an, it's an amazing thing, it's a blessing. I, I feel blessed, very much so.